Hey guys, it's Keeti and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how to file your own taxes. I always search for new apps and new websites that could make your life easy. I found this website called Cloud Tax. I'm going to be filing with them this year when it comes to taxes. I'm going to show you how to file your own taxes in a easy simple way but i have to give you a disclaimer that i'm not a professional i'm just sharing whatever information i know and this video is made purely for entertainment purposes okay let's get started with the video so you can find the cloud tax uh, website link in the description box below after registering once you log into your account this is how the account looks like and uh, all you have to do is fill up your basic information so this is just for demo purposes so the best part about cloud tax is uh, they have uh, separated sections very well structured you don't have to get confused and you don't have to search for anything okay first uh, your profile info basic put, let's put single has your marital status changed changed in 2020 let's just imagine i'm a single person do you have any dependents uh province of residence do you do you have to file your 2019 tax return no so do you want us to file your taxes from start to finish you have all these features 100% hassle free audit protection priority support okay when it comes to filing your taxes if you need an expert help you can always choose this plan $29.99 is honestly not that much actually it is one of the cheapest plans i've ever seen when it comes to taxes that's one of the reasons why i thought of making this video to share with you all the good stuff available out there at least if you are filing your taxes for the first time in canada i suggest you to go with the tax expert as you won't be having any idea about all these things for the sake of the demo in this video i'm going to go with no i don't need any help but you can always go with the 2999 plan when you are working you have certain forms to fill and when you are a student you have certain forms to submit instead of searching for what types of forms you have to fill based on your situation it will give you suggestions about what kind of forms you have to submit if you select i am student and click on next it will show you different types of forms okay so i have to give my t4 forms t4a yeah you can always click show all and you have so many forms you can choose from so t4 is kind of basic uh, so yeah just click on t4 and click next if you have any deductions you can go with any of the deductions if you have any moving expenses or uh, any kind of capital gain deduction if you have any interest paid on student loan uh, if you have any t220 tuition education and textbook amount home buyers amount so we bought our home last year so i can go with the home buyers amount first time purchases and individuals with disabilities can claim up to $5000 and everything is right in front of you all you have to do is just pick whatever is relevant and whatever form you have to fill and that's it click on next uh here you can fill up all the information uh, are you registered for CRA my account so i already have a CRA account and just click yes if you have one do you want to sign up for online mail to get your notice of assessment through CRA account? Uh, yes, sign me up. If you have a CRA account, just fill in your email address that is registered with your CRA account. If you are filing your taxes for the first time, you might not be having a CRA account. So yeah, just click no. No, I'm not ready to go paperless. Okay. Are you filing an income tax with CRA for the first time? Yeah, I'm not filing my taxes for the first time. So no. Were you confined to a prison for 90 days or more in 2020? No. Uh, which, what is your language of preference? English. So in order to proceed further, let me fill up the details. Immigrants slash emigrants. Have you moved in or out of the country in 2020? No, for me. Is this return made under CRA's voluntary program? Okay, if you don't know what that is, you can just hover over that sentence and you will know. Through the Community Volunteer Income Tax Program, community organizations host free tax clinics where volunteers do tax returns for eligible people. It's a no for me. Just click on next and if you're filing your taxes for the first time in Canada, you are unable to create a CRA account because in order to create a CRA account, you obviously 
uh, had to have your taxes filed. So first of all, file your taxes and then create a CRA account. Auto fill my return. Let's say in 2020, you have worked three different jobs at three with three, three different employers. If you have a CRA account, so even though you have worked three jobs and you do not have any of the T4s or you have only two T4s, but you are missing one, do not worry about it. You can always do autofill. Whatever jobs you have done that's on SIN, CRA will have information because your employer will always be submitting your information to CRA. So you do not have to worry about it. If you have any T4s missing, you can use the autofill feature. But if you are filing your taxes for the first time and you do not have a CRA account, you have to uh, manually fill everything on your own. If you're filing your taxes for the first time, you might not know how to fill all these T4 forms and everything. So obviously go, go with the tax expert's help. And yeah, skip autofill. And uh, this is how the T4 form looks like. And if you're going with any other website, you have to manually enter each and everything and uh, you might make mistakes. There are high chances for you to make mistakes if you're doing anything manually. But the best part about cloud tax is just upload your T4 form. I have a sample T4 uh, with me. This is not mine. This is just like a random T4 and uh, all you have to do is just upload it. And you can see everything has been filled automatically. That's super convenient. If you have multiple T4s, you can always select add T4. You can add as many T4s as you want and yeah, once you are done with filling, just click on next and Ontario tax credits. If you are living in a province, for example, say Nova Scotia, you might have different benefits when compared to Ontario or British Columbia. So yeah, <laughs> these things are province wise. I like to claim the Ontario focus flow through share OFFTS tax credit. If you don't know what this is, you can always click on this thing. Okay, if you have anything like this one, you can go with yes, otherwise no. Would you like to apply the Ontario Trillium benefit? If you don't know what that is, you can always click on this one and it will show you, it will take you to the official CRA website and uh, you can read through this one and if it's applicable for you, you can go with selecting yes, otherwise no. Are you a resident of Nova Scotia until March 31st, 2020? No okay once you are done with filling all your details you can always error check your return okay, when you come to the final page review your 2020 tax return this is where based on your details it will show you how much refund you're gonna get so as i uploaded that sample t4 form uh, this is the refund it's showing that's briefly how you can do your own taxes so if you need any help from cloud tax you can always go with this chat option just click on this button over here help with tax filing tax tips tax credits yeah you can always have access to this online live chat support there are different types of subscription plans are uh, available on cloud tax pro let me uh, talk about that also briefly for filing your own taxes it's totally free but if you need a review let's say you have done your own taxes and you need someone to review you can always go with the 29 dollar per return uh, option and uh, yeah you can see what else you get with that 29 dollar plan you can get audit protection if you are missing any credits you can uh, you know they review everything for you it's basically a tax expert so obviously they'll try to get you maximum returns and highest plan is 69 dollars so when it comes to this one uh, you can book a call with them here you can see that option book a call so whatever time and date is convenient for you, you can select that and you can book a call with them. And I always get asked so many questions when it comes to self-employed taxes. So if you are doing Uber uh, on a student permit or a work permit or whatever, all that stuff you have to file under self-employment taxes. It's like you own a business and you are, you are entitled to pay the taxes for your business on your own. I always recommend people whoever have questions with self-employment taxes is just go with the expert. You never know what kind of benefits you get if you're going with a tax expert. 
you might miss out on some kind of credits you might get or they'll try to help you basically to get maximum returns right yeah always go with the experts help so when it comes to self-employment access you can choose this 69 dollars if you're convenient using a mobile app uh, to file your taxes you can do that they, they also have an app best part about cloud tax mobile app is all you have to do is just scan your t4 when you scan your t4 form it will automatically fill everything so yeah that's really cool i hope you guys found this video useful i tried my best to share the information i know if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please hit that subscribe button and please hit the like button too thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye